Hello everyone, I'm Jay from TechForce and welcome to another case study. It's been a while since we made our last case study, uh, but here we have another one, which is Garmin's latest ransomware attack. If you remember on 23rd of July this year, 2020, Garmin has reported a outage of their services. So all the Garmin's apps, um, I hope you know, the company Garmin, which does all the fitness tracking and stuff, right? And they have uh, some um, uh, an application for pilots as well who uses their um, GPS system. So first of all, <laughs> all the all the um, uh, points I'm discussing here are uh, available on a public domain, and I'm, I have um, only I'm only representing um, the information out there and adding my own analysis, right? So, um, so Garmin's announced a, 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 an outage on their systems and all their apps were down. Nobody could upload their workouts and stuff. And it went on for a while, for a few days, and uh, everybody was kept in dark. You know, Garmin just announced um, they were, um, you know, they, they were facing an outage on Twitter and then that's it. So for the next couple of days, nobody know what's going on. And then later on, Garmin uh, came back and said um, they were experiencing a cyber attack. And that's why the outage was, and they started restoring one service after other. And out of all the services, I think they restored the Fly Garmin or Garmin Pilot, uh, the first one, because that is the critical one. And then uh, depending on the uh, critical services, they started restoring one after another. Uh, but one thing that ha customers wasn't happy with were they were kept in dark. They didn't know what's going on. And when they said cyber attack, Garmin said uh, no personal information of the customers were um, leaked, uh, but customers were not sure, right? And there was not much elaborated uh, uh, statements or, as such, right? So w what exactly happened? So in this case, according to the sources available, uh, the Garmin was infected with a ransomware attack and the ransomware variant is called Wasted Locker. So how the ransomware works um, is it basically a, a type of malware that encrypts all your files if your uh, PC, if your computer is infected with a ransomware. And then it will ask you for a ransom uh, to decrypt those files or to release the decryption key and usually the payment they will demand is in bitcoins uh, cryptocurrency because it can't be tracked to where it is going so that's how the ransomware works and in this case uh, the hackers were demanding uh, 10 million us dollars from garmin to release their you know decryption keys um, so the variance of the ransomware wasted locker what it does is it, it can move across the network once it is up. So, okay, first of all, how it gets into the network, right? So uh, the bad actors, the bad guys here uh, who, who, who belong to a Russian hacking corporation called Evil Corp, uh, they have designed this uh, ransomware. What they do is they place this uh, ransomware on, on the known websites, um, saying offering a, a, a fake or uh, a fake update um, for users that are browsing these websites for example they can offer a update update your firefox or google chrome you know things like that and uh, you know if you click on update then um, there is a toolkit penetration testing toolkit that will be deployed onto your pc and then they will monitor the network and see uh, where the resources are and then um, on a fine day, they will decide to um, download the payload and infect the network, right? And once it does, uh, once it infects the vulnerable machines on the network, it will spread across the network. It will move across the network. It can um, um, escalate the privileges on the network and also it can steal the credentials. So then if you think about all these three factors, if your network is get infected, then the impact, the it, it could be devastating, right? It could spread really quickly. And that probably might have happened with Garmin here as well. So that's why all their services are done. 
The one thing it doesn't do, the Evasor Locker, is the variance of this um, ransomware is it can't exfiltrate any data. It can't steal any data from the infected network, which is a good sign. And there was no evidence of uh, Garmin's customers' data being stolen or auctioned off or being sold in the dark web, right? So as, as Garmin was saying, um, could be no, no uh, customers' details were compromised or stolen. Right, so so that's what happened, and then um, Garmin, um, I believe, is now back to fully operational. Uh, but what could you do, right? Um, what could you do for your business if this happens to your business, or what could you do to prevent this happening from your business? Ask yourself, right? Just now, if you're watching this video, ask yourself today if you're infected with this ransomware right now, how would you get back on your feet again? Ask yourself, right? Um, because this kind of ransomware, especially this one here, it is demanding anywhere between 500,000 to 10 million. And also because uh, this uh, hacking corporation here, Evil Corp, had sanctions from US government, that means no US companies could transact or even if they want to pay the ransom, they can't pay to these guys right so and these guys are mainly focusing on US companies just now also there are some European companies uh, being the victims as well there was no evidence of Garmin paying the um, hackers here I don't think they have paid the hackers they it seems they have a really efficient backup system and it seems they have back um, restored their applications their data and everything from the uh, working backups they have. Right. So what would you do if, if this happens to you? Ask yourself, right? These are some of the things you can do right now uh, to prevent this uh, happening to you. But in the worst case, if it happens to you, you can uh, recover and um, uh, restore back your systems. The first and foremost is have um, working backups and that are offline or not connected to your primary, your live, your production network. So have them somewhere else, right? Have the backups, working backups. A backup that is not tested is not a backup. So you have to test your backups regularly and make sure they're working fine. So have regular backups, 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 backups. Um, count how many times I said backups in this video, right? Uh, so, and then patching patch your systems regularly, right? Make sure your systems are up to date all the time. And one of the most important things you can do is train your users, raise the awareness levels across your company. You know, after all, hackers offering their software update and your users should be able to figure out or, you know, at least, um, you know, suspect if it is a legitimate update, right? So um, at least you should be um, raising the awareness to that levels. Train your users. Security awareness training, user awareness is absolutely key in saving your crown jewels or saving your business as well, right? Have tools that can combat this. Although this uh, Vester Locker um, had designed uh, in a way it can escape the existing you know, endpoint security tools, but there could, there are some tools, there are number of uh, EDR, endpoint detect and response and next generation software. Some of the tools can detect them. You know, uh, maybe you could uh, do your own research and um, select what suits your business. Visibility, make sure you're, um, you know, oh, you, you have the 360 degree view visibility on your network, especially in the current situation during the pandemic. Your users are based, uh, you know, wherever they are, home, um, coffee shops, working remotely, working from home, working from anywhere, right? Make sure you have the visibility or even working from your own office. Um, what happens? Um, because once someone gets infected and they're connected to your network, it won't stop. Um, and make sure you have strong incident response plan so that you can detect early and respond, recover your systems, right? Hopefully that helps. Um, this is what happened with the Garmin and uh, do let me know what case study you would like to see next. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Once again, I'm Jay from TechForce. You have a nice one.